All right, today we're looking at the first field thistle bloom that I've found this year. Um, a lot of people don't like thistles. This one's actually pretty neat. Um, I just started seeing some swamp thistle blooming, and that'll probably be my next video. But this one is uh, one of the latest blooming thistles, so it's really good for uh, monarch butterflies and other migrating species. Um, <clears throat> it's not like other thistles in that it's very aggressive and, you know, takes over. Um, it can colonize a little bit, so you'll see, you know, more than one for sure. But it's also not as thorny, uh, prickly. It's definitely prickly. Um, you can see here, if I can get the camera to focus right here on the end. You know, it's pretty sharp. But if you look here on the, the stem, it's more hairy. Um, same thing with the... The bloom itself, it has some hairs, but it's really not sharp. You, know, I can, you can see I'm touching it here. Um, and there's lots of blooms here um, that aren't even open yet. So you can see, you know, this is the first one. So, you know, this, this plant will be blooming for probably a month yet. Um, <clears throat> like I said, really good for uh, monarch butterflies migrating and other caterpillar butterfly species that, you know, migrate or are feeding late in the year uh, before they lay eggs or go dormant. Um, this is actually one of our sites that we had planted about 10 years ago. You can see, you know, out here there's some trees moving in that we need to take care of. But, you know, we're trying to keep it more open grassland type. You know, that's why we're mowing paths through here so that we can get in and out. Actually, I just found another field thistle. You can see they kind of hang out here along the edge where they don't get mowed. I try not to mow them, but, you know, if we're trying to keep access open, we need to keep access open. So, unfortunately, some do get mowed. Um, now you can see this one's not even blooming. So... That one will be blooming a little longer. Um, one other identifying characteristic is the white undersides of the leaves. Very, very white. Pretty noticeable, um, but the biggest thing is, um, you know, it's not blooming till later in the year. Bull and musk thistle are either done blooming for the year or um, just finishing up, whereas this guy's just starting. Um, one other thing I had heard as an identifying characteristic is the leaf will, you know, come down onto the stem, clasp around the stem, kind of. You can see that doesn't, isn't seen here. Leaf just ends at the stem. So, pretty cool little plant. Just wanted to show you the, uh, the bloom. Really pretty. Once this gets blooming, it'll be just covered in butterflies. It's actually, a lot of thistles are really good for butterflies and all insects really, but just want to show you guys really cool species.